St. Sean Prince, a great player for some elite Detroit Pistons teams. Tayshawn began his career with Detroit in 2002 and remained with the team until 2013. Tayshawn spent the last few years of his career bouncing around until he was out of the league after the 2016 season. Tayshawn was a high IQ 3 and D player who fit in perfectly with the defense-oriented Detroit Pistons, who would make six straight Eastern Conference Finals appearances from 2003 to 2008. Prince was a key starter during this legendary run, but often gets overlooked for his contributions during his time in the NBA. Welcome to Forgotten Player Profiles, a channel that looks at the careers of professional sports players who don't get talked about as much as they should. Whether they had a short run, were overshadowed by star teammates, or played in a time where the elite players of their position took away from their own recognition. This channel aims to shine light on these forgotten gems. Today, the player of interest is Tayshawn Prince. So settle in, and let's see if we can jog your memory. Tayshawn Prince spent his high school career at Dominguez High School, a school known for producing professional athletes such as Tyson Chandler, Cedric Sabalos, Richard Sherman, and Brandon Jennings. Prince had a stellar career at Dominguez following his sophomore season, he would be named All-State and MVP of his conference. His junior year saw him put up averages of 20 points per game, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, and 5 blocks, while leading Dominguez to a 30-4 record and a state championship. His senior season would be much of the same, but Prince would average 22 points, 9.8 rebounds, 5.2 assists, and 4 blocks, while finishing as a finalist for the Naismith Prep Player of the Year award and being voted a second team parade All-American. In Prince's three seasons at Dominguez, he would lead the team to an overall record of 96-9 while taking home California's Player of the Year award his senior season, and being selected as a McDonald's All-American. Tayshawn's IQ was present on and off the court, as he would finish high school with a 3.3 GPA and was on the school's honor roll each year. His on-court IQ was recognized by players such as Tyson Chandler, who was a freshman when Prince was a senior. When referring to Prince, Chandler would say, My freshman year I was able to play with Tayshawn Prince. I was always, like, in awe of his knowledge of the game. Going into college, Prince was voted a member of USA Today's preseason Super 25 squad, and picked as a number six high school frontcourt player by Dick Vitale's college basketball yearbook. Tayshawn would choose to attend Kentucky over schools such as Kansas, Georgetown, and UCLA. Kentucky was coming off a national championship the year prior and were going into the season led by future NBA players such as Scott Padgett, who would be first team All-SEC and the SEC tournament MVP in Prince's freshman year, Wayne Turner, Jamal McGuire, and Michael Bradley. Due to Kentucky already having their core in place, Tayshawn would come off the bench to average 5.8 points, 3.8 rebounds, 1.2 assists, 0.7 steals, and 0.7 blocks per game. Kentucky would once again have a successful season, finishing at 28-9 and making it all the way to the Elite Eight. Prince's sophomore season saw him become a starter and increase his averages across the board. With the departure of Padgett, Turner, and Bradley, Tayshawn became one of the team's key players, along with McGlure and incoming freshman and future NBA player Keith Bogans. Pierce would average 13.3 points, 6.0 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 0.8 steals, and 1.3 blocks per game. Unfortunately, Kentucky's season was viewed as a disappointment as the tragic death of recruit John Stewart, along with multiple transfers, left the team young and lacking depth. The team did finish 23-10, and, and after squeaking by St. Bonaventure in the first round of the tournament, they lost to a beatable Syracuse team in the second round. Tayshawn's junior year would be the year he truly showed his elite talent. With the departure of McGlure, Prince became the team's leader and would play as such. Incoming freshmen Eric Daniels and Gerald Fitch would surprisingly carve out crucial roles on the team while Bogans would continue to provide solid scoring production. Prince would put up averages of 16.9 points, 6.5 rebounds, 2.9 assists, 0.7 steals, and 1.1 blocks per game. After a slow start to the season, Kentucky would recover to win the SEC tournament and enter the NCAA tourney as the number two seed. Once again, the Wildcats would fall short, this time getting a little bit further than they did the year before as they lost to the USC in the Sweet 16. Prince would finish the season as the SEC Player of the Year while taking home SEC Tournament MVP and be named a consensus second team All-American. Tayshawn's senior year likely did not end how he and Kentucky wanted it to but he was still extremely effective and had a couple career-defining moments over the course of the season. Kentucky would also add Chuck Hayes as an incoming freshman, 
the man with impeccable free throw form, would take on a starting spot late in the season and provide the Wildcats with much needed hustle and toughness. Prince averaged 17.5 points, 6.3 rebounds, 1.6 assists, 1.1 steals, and 1.3 blocks per game. In a regular season win versus North Carolina, Prince would pour in 31 points and 11 rebounds in a game where Prince famously hit five consecutive threes to score Kentucky's first 15 points. The Wildcats would enter the NCAA tourney as a four seed and would win the first two rounds versus Valparaiso and Tulsa before losing a hard-fought game to eventual national champion Maryland in the Sweet 16. The tourney was highlighted by Prince's career-high 41-point performance versus Tulsa. Prince ended the season as an NAVC second team All-American and an AT third team All-American. After proving himself as an elite NBA prospect, Tayshawn would declare for the 2002 NBA Draft. With the 23rd pick in the 2002 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Tayshawn Prince from the University of Kentucky. Tayshawn would join a talented Piston squad, consisting of already established players such as Chauncey Billups, Richard Hamilton, and Ben Wallace. Under Rick Carlisle, Tayshawn would not be a part of the regular rotation, only appearing in 42 games throughout the regular season. Tayshawn would average 3.3 points, 1.1 rebounds, 0.6 assists, 0.2 steals, and 0.3 blocks per game. However, in the playoffs, Prince showed that much like at Kentucky, he loved the big moments. After falling behind 3-1 to the Orlando Magic in the first round, the Pistons stormed back to force a Game 7, in which Tayshawn scored 20 points in a win. The Pistons faced the 76ers in the second round, and Tayshawn continued his heroics by making a game-tying shot in the final seconds of Game 2 and proceeding to score 7 points in overtime to lead the Pistons to a win. The Pistons would eventually lose to the New Jersey Nets in the Eastern Conference Finals, but Tayshawn had shown that he belonged in the league. The 4 season saw Prince become a starter, which also kicked off a streak of six straight seasons of playing in all 82 games. The Pistons would add their missing piece by picking up Rasheed Wallace in a mid-season trade with the Hawks. The Pistons' stifling defense would hold opponents to 84.3 points per game over the course of the season. Tayshawn averaged 10.3 points, 4.8 rebounds, 2.3 assists, 8.8 steals, and 0.8 blocks per game. Tayshawn's improved play would be recognized as he was voted to compete in the rookie sophomore game. Tayshawn once again showed that he wasn't afraid of the big moment by hitting a Game 7 closeout shot versus the Indiana Pacers in the Eastern Conference Finals. In the Finals, the Pistons shocked the world by completing the gentleman's sweep on the Shaq and Kobe Lid Lakers. Prince notably played great defense on Kobe Bryant throughout the series, or I mean as great defense as one can play on a prime Kobe Bryant. However, although the Pistons season was highlighted by their championship, Prince had a very memorable play of his own. down 0-1 in the Eastern Conference Finals, and needing a win to avoid going down 0-2, the Pistons clung to a two-point lead late in the fourth quarter. Reggie Miller appeared to have an easy pass to a game-tying layup. Somehow, Prince was able to catch up and use his length to block Miller's attempt. Prince's block would be the most famous chase-down block of all time until a certain 2016 Finals chase-down block. Prince began his third season solidified as Detroit's starting small forward. He would average a career-high 14.7 points, 5.3 rebounds, 3 assists, 0.7 steals, and 0.9 blocks per game. Prince showed an improved offensive game in which he was able to create his own shot more often when needed. This was also Tayshawn's first of four straight seasons being second-team all-defense. The Pistons would be involved in the infamous Malice at the Palace brawl during this season. This brawl resulted in a slew of suspensions, most notably Ron Artest being suspended for the remainder of the season. However, Prince was not personally affected by this, as he was the only player from either team not to leave the bench during the entire incident. The Pistons would have another strong season and would meet the up-and-coming Miami Heat, led by sophomore Dwayne Wade and newly acquired Shaquille O'Neal. In a hard-fought seven-game series, the Pistons' experience and defense would prove to be the edge in the series. Prince again elevated his play in the big moments, this time from a more defensive standpoint, as he and the rest of the team played great defense on Dwayne Wade, particularly in the Game 7 where Wade was held to 20 points on 35% shooting. The Pistons would meet the Spurs in the NBA Finals in another hard-fought 7-game series. This one, the Pistons would not win, and it's easy to wonder if the Pistons would have repeated if not for this Game 5-3 from Big Shot Bob. Hunter on Parker. Here's Ginobili. Oh, to Ori for three. Oh, my. 
2006 saw the Pistons finish with the NBA's best record at 64-18, and and they looked poised for a third straight trip to the NBA Finals. Prince would average 14.1 points, 4.2 rebounds, 2.3 assists, 0.8 steals, and 0.5 blocks per game, and signed a five-year, $49 million contract extension at the start of the season. The Pistons had an elite team, sending four or five starters to the All-Star game, with Tayshaun being the one player not to be selected. The Pistons beat the Bucks in five and survived the Cavs in seven for a rematch of the previous year's Eastern Conference Finals. This time, the Heat were ready, as they defeated the Pistons in six games to make their first Finals appearance in which they won. Prince had seven 20-plus point games throughout these playoffs, and versus the Heat scored 24 and 29 in games two and five respectively, which were both Pistons wins. However, Prince was inconsistent as he failed to shoot above 39% in the four Pistons losses. The Pistons were beginning to age, but still looked to be an elite team. However, a major offseason change would be coming. The 2007 Pistons were once again a strong team and were still contenders in the East. However, a major piece of their championship team was gone as Ben Wallace left for the Chicago Bulls in free agency. Prince again had a solid season with averages of 14.3 points, 5.2 rebounds, 2.8 assists, 0.6 steals, and 0.7 blocks per game. Pistons started the season 21 and 15, but after signing Chris Webber, went 32 and 14 for the remainder of the season. Webber was an effective player for the Pistons, but he was not the defensive enforcer that Wallace was. The Pistons got some revenge by knocking out Wallace's Bulls in the second round of the playoffs. However, the lack of Wallace was evident in a six-game loss to the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Eastern Conference Finals, in which Prince struggled to defend LeBron James, and who routinely blew by Prince for easy buckets in the paint. This was highlighted by James scoring the Cavs' final 25 points in a Game 5 win in Detroit. The 2008 season would be a year of finals for Prince and the Pistons. But no, not the kind of finals you're thinking of. This would be Prince's final season voted second team all defense and the final season of the Pistons' six-year conference final streak. Prince would average 13.2 points, 4.9 rebounds, 3.3 assists, 0.5 steals, and 0.4 blocks per game. The Pistons would have an exceptional regular season, finishing with 59 wins, good for second in the NBA. The Pistons only lost three games en route to meeting the Boston Celtics and their newly formed Big Three of Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and Ray Allen. The Celtics would prove to be too much as they finished off the Pistons in six en route to an NBA championship. Prince would spend his summer playing for the U.S. national team in the 2008 Beijing Olympics. He would average 4.3 points, 1.9 rebounds, 0.3 assists, 0.4 steals, and 0.1 blocks per game. Prince would help the redeemed team to a perfect 8-0 record, which culminated in a gold medal victory over Spain, in which Prince would score 6 points off the bench. In speaking about Prince's impact, Coach K, Team USA's head coach, would say, Tayshawn didn't do those things when we had the game in hand. He did them when we needed them. Tayshawn's seven seasons would be his first losing season in the NBA. Tayshawn averaged 14.2 points, 5.8 rebounds, 3.1 assists, 0.5 steals, and 0.6 blocks per game. The Pistons would lose another key piece from their championship team as fan favorite Chauncey Billups was traded for the Denver Nuggets for Allen Iverson. Iverson was solid for Detroit, but clashed with Pistons president Joe Dumars over playing time. Detroit finished with a 39-43 record, but still made the playoffs as the 8th seed. However, they were no match for the one-seed Cavaliers, who swept them in a horrendous series from Prince in which he averaged less than 4 points on 26% shooting. The 2010 Pistons would see one Wallace go and another return, as Rasheed Wallace signed with the Celtics in free agency and Ben Wallace signed with the Pistons. Prince would average 13.5 points, 5.1 rebounds, 3.3 assists, 0.7 steals, and 0.4 blocks per game. Unfortunately, the Pistons' season would be an injury-riddled disaster, as Prince missed 33 games with a ruptured disc, snapping his streak of six straight seasons playing all 82 games. Rip Hamilton, Ben Gordon, Ben Wallace, and Rodney Stuckey also missed time due to injury, and the Pistons finished with only 27 wins, the worst of Tayshawn's career. The 2011 season was a season of optimism, as Prince would return from his injury to play 78 games. The Pistons also signed Tracy McGrady in free agency, and hoped he would provide them with some much-needed scoring. McGrady was able to play in 72 games, starting in 39 of them, but his 8 points per game was a far cry from what he was earlier in his career. In addition, the Pistons drafted Georgetown big man Craig Monroe with the 7th pick in the draft and hoped he would be a solid contributor for the team. Unfortunately, the Pistons were not the defensive team they once were, nor did they have the offensive firepower needed to make up for the lack of defense. 
They would finish with 30 wins in a season where Prince averaged 14.1 points, 4.2 rebounds, 2.8 assists, 0.4 steals, and 0.4 blocks per game. The 2012 season shows the Pistons were in full rebuild mode. Tayshaun would average 12.7 points, 4.5 rebounds, 2.4 assists, 0.4 steals, and 0.5 blocks per game. The Pistons won a measly 25 games, and Tayshaun played in 63 of those in what would be his last full season with Detroit. It was clear that Tayshaun was heading into the twilight of his career. The 2013 season would see Tayshaun start out as a member of the Pistons and play the first 48 games of their season. However, on January 30th, 2013, Tayshaun Prince was a main piece in a three-team deal that saw Rudy Gay dealt to the Raptors and Prince take his place on the Grizzlies. Tayshaun joined the grit and grind Grizzlies and fit seamlessly into their defensive-oriented team, consisting of Mike Conley, Tony Allen, Marcus Gasol, and Zach Randall. Prince would help the Grizzlies finish with a franchise record 56 wins and a trip to the Western Conference Finals. Tayshaun's first playoff appearance since 2009. Tayshaun was a solid contributor and made some big plays in the Grizzlies series against both the Thunder and the Spurs. Tayshaun's season averages between Detroit and Memphis would be 10.4 points, 4.4 rebounds, 2.4 assists, 0.6 steals, and 0.3 blocks per game. Going into Tayshaun's 12th season, the Grizzlies had high expectations as an elite team in the Western Conference. In his first full season in Memphis, Tayshaun would average 6 points, 3.1 rebounds, 1.6 assists, 0.5 steals, and 0.3 blocks per game. The Grizzlies would finish with 50 wins, but could not repeat their run from the year before, as they lost a hard-fought 7-game series to the OKC Thunder, a series in which Tayshaun did not play in due to suffering an ankle injury at the very end of the regular season. Prince began the 2015 season in a reserve role for the Grizzlies, where he would actually average over a full point more than the previous year, and the Grizzlies were still a great team. But on January 12, 2015, Prince was dealt to the Boston Celtics. In Prince's first game with Boston, he would come off the bench to drop 19 points and 5 assists versus the Jazz. Unfortunately, after some nagging hip issues, the Celtics sent Tayshaun back to Detroit on February 19th after just 9 games. Tayshaun would play out the remainder of the season with Detroit and finish with overall averages of 7.5 points, 3.6 rebounds, 1.6 assists, 0.5 steals, and 0.3 blocks per game. Sadly, the Pistons would not re-sign Prince and he would join the Minnesota Timberwolves for his final NBA season. Starting 44 out of 77 games played for the T-Wolves, Prince averaged a career low 2.9 points, 1.9 rebounds, 0.9 assists, 0.5 steals, and 0.2 blocks per game. This would be the final season of Tayshaun Prince's underrated career, and it seems only fitting that one of his final highlights would be eerily similar to the highlight that made him famous many years ago. Come on, get this bucket. There you go. In the end, Tayshaun Prince would play 14 NBA seasons and maximize his role and contributions at every stop during the journey. He was never loud or flashy, but he was durable, reliable on both ends, and went about his business night in and night out. Tayshaun is often the forgotten member of that borderline Detroit Pistons dynasty, as he does not have the individual accolades or big personality that his other teammates did. But Tayshaun was the type of player anyone would want on their team, with his selfless and humble attitude. When it was all said and done, Tayshaun had career averages of 13.1 points, 5.6 rebounds, 1.9 assists, 0.8 steals, and 1.1 blocks per game at Kentucky, and continued that into the NBA with career averages of 11.1 points, 4.3 rebounds, 2.4 assists, 0.6 steals, and 0.5 blocks per game. This has been the Forgotten Player Profile of Tayshaun Prince. Thanks for watching.